Jerry Park spent his main career cooped up in corporate America offices. It wasn't until his retirement in 2007 that he rediscovered a childhood passion for pictures. Nowadays, his office is anywhere the road takes him, along with his camera. I had no idea that it would lead to places it's led before. I mean, to do a book, somebody had told me that, or to be represented by a gallery, or, you know, I've won some awards, and it's just crazy, but fun. Although his initial subjects were landscapes, his first professional studio debut was a vivid, colorful portfolio of Nashville workspaces. I'd always been fascinated by what people will do to their workspace to either make them more productive, uh, relaxed, uh, effective, uh, happy. I just started going around knocking on doors. I went to Roger's car seat out on 4th Avenue, uh, a motorcycle repair shop, and just all sorts of places. I finally made it into the Omahundro water plant. Those workspaces were places that most people never go, and so that was part of my interest was to show people what it looks like on the bottom floor of the Tennessean where those 2,500-pound rolls of paper are fed into this humongous machine. To achieve this brilliant look, he used a high dynamic range process and a lot of Photoshop. You use a tripod and you take three shots. You take one that's dead on in the middle, one that's really dark, which will hold back the lights, one that's really light and bright, which will pull out the detail and the shadows. And then their software puts that together. His next photographic mission was more low tech. It began with a few trips to the countryside where Jerry fell in love with its genuine rustic simplicity. There's a sweetness to driving through the country where it really doesn't change at its core. And uh, there are good people out there. Um, for the most part, the values are what I was taught growing up. And I wanted to honor that. And, I've always loved the country, but it wasn't until somebody told me about this camera and this plastic $30 camera it shoots film and it gives you this nice soft look. It's sort of a timeless look and that matched up with my feelings for the country. So I went out one day, I went down to um, Humphreys and Perry County around in there and uh, just started shooting with it. and. Came back, loved what I saw, went out a couple more times, and then the idea hit me. Well, all right, you know, how, how much energy do you have? How, let's do this for the whole state. Eventually, Jerry was hitting the two-lane back roads of all 95 Tennessee counties, capturing their timeless scenery, time-honored customs, and basic goodness of the countryside. After two years and 11,000 miles, the result was a book called Slow Roads, Tennessee. The 95 photos are complemented with stories and poems he wrote that augment the visuals. That's why I go out there. I mean, uh, what's over the hill, uh, what's around the curve, let's go find out. There's about a third of our domiciles in the country our mobile homes, and, and they're everywhere. They're in places you don't know how they got to, and this is one of them. Now, this is Ray County, and now the postman just pulls his truck up there and never gets out of it, just spins, sticks, spins, sticks, spins, sticks. Jesus is coming back soon. The first thing he's gonna do is teach that old boy how to spell. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Well, recently, the open road called again. And Jerry's been on it. Traveling back to all 95 counties for a follow-up book project. This time, though, with more modern tools of the craft. I use a collection of cameras on this so that some of the photographs will be a two-page spread. Some might be small. And the story's got good reactions. So I have extended that. There'll be about twice uh, as much in the story part of it. Jerry Park has no regrets about his first career, climbing that so-called corporate ladder. 
However, he's more content now to climb in his SUV and hit the highway, out discovering what treasure awaits around the bend of each winding road. I come back refreshed, proud, uh, happy to be able to get out and travel, and uh, you know, it's a great country, it's a great state, so uh, if, you, if you're feeling down or pressured or stressed or wondering whether we're still on the right track, take a ride out in the country.